Hello again, YouTube. I am here today because my latest tarot deck has come and I deliberately saved this one so that it would be in a video by itself. This is actually going to be my first um, unboxing and flip through of a tarot deck uh, simply because the Game of Thrones tarot, I've had it and already done it. I already ruffled all the cards up and everything. So this is going to be my first one. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot by Los Garabillo, or I think that's how you say it, Los Garabillo. Um, this is an international deck. It's got multiple languages in the instruction booklet. The only thing that I did was I did open it, the plastic on the box and on the deck, just so that I wouldn't have to do that on camera. The box, as you see, the top lifts off and is a separate piece. And let's get the cards out. Um, it's a little difficult one-handed. <laughs> but I am successful. Okay. So, all I did was take the plastic wrap off. I left everything else alone until we came on camera. The first thing that I see is the Los Garabio Tarot on Facebook and Instagram card. Um, I'm going to go check both of them out, to be honest. I want to make sure I credit them when I take my picture and everything. Then we have the face card that just, um, just says Radiant White Spirit Tarot and Los Garabio, and then the backing of the card. Um, I actually really like this back. I saw this deck on Moonlight Guidance and fell in love. And at first I told myself, ah, oh, it's just another Rider Waite Smith deck. I don't need it, but no, I needed it. And I'm already, I can feel so connected to this deck. Like this... I thought I was connected to the Game of Thrones deck, and it's still nothing to this. We have the instruction booklet, which, as I said, is in multiple languages. Um, this is English here. Let me see. That looks like French. It's a nice little booklet, similar to the, um, the pictorial guide booklet that came in my other tarot kit. Just um, instead of all being about tarot, it's multiple languages. So comparable in size, but not in content. For the cards, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through as I have a kitten bite in my elbow. Um, and I left this in the order it came out of the plastic in. So we're going to start with the full. And this this is, I like the brightness of the colors. Um, the cards feel weird. It's like a plasticky feeling. You hear my nails on it. Like, I don't know. None of my other tarot cards feel like this or sound like this. Um, so I'm hoping that this means they're going to hold up well. This is the most expensive tarot deck I have ever purchased at just over $24. Um, obviously U.S. money. Um, that was including tax and shipping. But, yeah, definitely my most expensive tarot deck yet. But it's also the prettiest. It's also my first no border deck, which I think is what actually drew me to this deck. Come on, little one. Stop. I have a very hyper kitten. Um, yeah, the very hyper little kitten here. So I apologize if she shakes the camera or she's in the way. Uh, this is the Emperor. Hierophant. Hierophant. I, I'm still not sure how you say it. I, I don't know. I've always said Hierophant, but I think it's Hierophant. I, I really don't know. Let go of my bracelet. Thank you. We are not doing a kitten flip through. Thank you. All right. Lovers. The chariots. I do notice a little tendency to stick together. You kind of have to really uh, rub them and make sure it's just one card. Strength. Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. And I want you to know that these spots, they were left on the card. It, um, same as the originals. That's not anything on the cards. That's how it came. It's really, it, it makes me think of just a recolored Rider Waite Smith deck. But it is the most vibrant of all of them. And I think there are actually some little differences in this. Um, because I know people... People have been mentioning it is different. I, I don't really 
I have not really compared them yet to say myself what the differences are or are not. Um, Surface-wise, it looks like Rider Waite to me, just with different colors. I am not sorry that I bought this deck, though. Don't get, don't get me wrong here, okay? I definitely am not sorry. I'm in love. I think the crayf crayfish or crawfish right here is a different color. I don't think I remember him being purple. So that's pretty cool. I remember when they recolored Nightmare Before Christmas, um, the mayor's fingernails were painted and I'd never noticed them being painted before. So that's kind of like a little Easter egg here too. I don't remember those colors. And they, they make a neat little twist for somebody to, who knows the cards, to be like, oh, this is different, for sure. I like the Ace of Cups. I really like this. The colors are so pretty and soothing. It's nice to see the vibrant colors. I just love it so much. It makes it, the gloomy cards like this one, you can really feel the gloom because it's so dark now. It's so easy to see the difference. Um, the sky is actually blue on this instead of that weird gold color that it is in my other deck. The sky here makes it look more like an eclipse, which is pretty awesome. I like that you can really see the color of the rainbows in this. Rainbow is my favorite anything and everything, so it's definitely cool to see that. And I like how this green kind of looks sponged on, if that makes sense. Like, you know how people take little sponges and do their walls? That's what it looks like to me. Like, it's just sponged into the sky. I spent all day today doing readings for people. It's the longest I've ever read in a day and the most people I've ever read for. And um, definitely looking forward to practicing on other people more. I will be posting reading videos here. If you want to request a reading, you can leave a comment or you can message me and just tell me what kind of reading you're looking for and include a question. It can be, um, as detailed or not as you feel comfortable with. I'll do the best I can with what you give me. Of course, you do know that that will limit me. The less detail there is, the less I have to work with. Um, but I, I will be happy to take reading requests. Otherwise, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing card of the day videos on my YouTube. I already have started posting them on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me and know that, then go ahead and find the link in the description box. But I think I'm going to start doing a short video every day with the cards of the day. Uh, tarot and angel deck and whatnot. Whatever it is I, I pulled that morning. And uh, I am going to start doing readings. I, I just haven't really gotten to it yet. But I will be doing readings on here. <laughs> Right now, I am just getting my feet under myself. I've been reading tarot off and on since I was 15, but this is the longest I've stuck to it. And realistically, I'm almost intermediate. So I want to make sure that I'm good enough to do what I need to do before I come and do it. Like I said in my intro, we are growing together on this page. I'm just trying to help those who, like me, did not have someone to teach them in their style. Sorry. Two of wands. I like how golden and warm toned the yellows in these cards are now. They're not so harsh and just in your face yellow. So that's nice.
We're almost done the wands. Um, I just had not seen a full flip through of this deck as such. I've seen reviews and talking about it, but I hadn't seen any real just full flip throughs. So when I was deciding if I wanted to buy it, I um I, I looked for flip throughs for myself and I couldn't find them. So I do want to still do a flip through of the Game of Thrones deck as well, but the problem is I already shuffled the cards all up, so I'm gonna have to put that one in order. I might do that one next and um let y'all see that because again there was not very much information about um the the Game of Thrones deck when I was trying or considering wanting to purchase it and there might be somebody else out there who might want to purchase it and might want that information so that'll probably be my next flip through deck because for real that's not really something that a lot of people know about um this deck is new and I'm starting to see it a lot on a lot of different pages. So there's a request for a um, little niche for these. So I figured I would do it. Definitely already feeling attached to this deck. I already like it. Uh, I like the energy of it. Love the back, the colors. It's letting me see things that I didn't see before in the backgrounds and in the things like the thrones. So this is the King of Swords. This is the end of the deck. This is the back. It's so pretty, so much vibrant colors. Like I'm definitely not sorry I purchased this deck, even if it was a little pricey. And I definitely am looking forward to working with it and I would recommend it to anybody watching who wants a Rider Waite Smith deck. I would probably buy this instead of the other Rider Waite Smith deck that I own if I would have seen this sooner. That was what would have happened. So thanks for watching guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so that you'll know whenever I post a new video. And like I keep saying, let's grow this channel and ourselves together. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.